I digress. This one is a, what is Balloon Fest? I have no idea. This comes to us from Big Boss, front of the stream, front of the channel. Um, obsession of mine now. Big Boss. Um, this is the catastrophic flop of Balloon Fest 86. I have never heard of this. I have no idea what this means. Um, but I'm going to crap me a Guinness. And we're going to hop into it, shall we? Mmm, good sound. All right, Big Boss, take it away. Take it away. Sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. All right, it's been a good video, Big Boss. Thank you guys for joining me, everybody. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you for the subs, the hey, bitties. Hi. All right, fine. Let's do it. <laughs> fine. Fine, 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 fine. What do you got? Cleveland, Ohio. Oh. I'm going to take a big drink. One second. Mm -mm. I'm taking two drinks. Screw that. All right, now I'm ready for whatever bullshit. Cleveland? Ew. I hate this city, dude. The 1970s. Okay. The city doesn't currently have the best reputation. No. In fact, it still doesn't. It's absolutely god awful. Yep. For the last few years, uh, it has gone through sky high crime rates. Uh, yep. Rising Why poverty levels. Higher? Yep. And major industrial pollution. Yes. Industrial pollution so bad that just a few years ago, one of its rivers actually caught fire. I. It's not Detroit, bro. The Cleveland. I know we're making a Detroit Detroit memes here, and I'm here for it. Um, because you know, I, you know, we make fun of Michigan all the time. But uh, uh, I'll wait Father, for all. yeah, I know some Japanese Ohio Papa Mutt Kermy Papa Mutt Wag. Kermy. I think that Detroit in 2024 is leagues better than it ever has been. I think Detroit's gotten a lot better over the years, and that's good. That's good. They've been doing a lot to change a lot over in Detroit. And they've been adding jobs. They've been right lines in the, the, the local economy that's been doing very, very well. Cleveland has and has never stopped being shit. Full stop. It, it is a very, very rough city. Like, full stop. Now, we can get into the systemic reasons why that is, but th th the point is, it's not a great city. On 13 separate occasions, mm -hmm. things were not good. Right. And several organizations in the city decided enough was enough. Let's talk about human because it's real. One it's of real. these organizations is United Way of Cleveland. Okay, this looks very Cleveland core. Drucker is wrong. Cleveland is not always rock. Cleveland is not rock. Also, this is very Cleveland core. This building is just extremely Cleveland core. The, 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 the very dark sky, the very sad building. Set up in the late 70s, okay. the group was dead set on helping out the city's financials. Great. For the next few years, they help out local communities by fundraising millions of dollars and distributing it to local agencies and institutions. That's good. Detroit, did Detroit be hipsters? I mean, I don't know the details of Detroit, but I, do, I don't know. I don't know. That was all well and good. Yeah. But it wasn't quite as grand as what George Fraser, the marketing manager of United Way, Oh, here we go. Envisioned. Here we go. It never is. It's never enough, is it? Never enough. Here we go. Our company's based on LeBron James, our exporting crippling depression. No, fair. He'd set his sights on something much bigger. Here we go. In early 1986, a few members of the group gather around. Okay. At this point, Cleveland had cleaned itself up a bit. Mm. Okay, sure. But the city's reputation still lingered. Yes. Ew. <laughs> Ew. That's a mood. Fraser decides that what the city needs is a bit of rebranding. Yes, Cleveland, Cleveland should going be cool. To become cool. I think if you go, think of the fly something to follow. If you go to Ohio, here, I, I have been all over the Midwest. I have been all over Ohio. I've been all over Michigan. I've been all over Indiana. I think if you go to Ohio, here are the cities in no particular order that you should check out. Um, you can check out Columbus, but only certain parts. If you're looking for more of like a nightlife, you could look at Cincinnati. Again, not amazing. Um, don't go to Cleveland. Don't go to Dayton. And don't go to... That's really about it. I mean, really about it. Really, you don't go... I mean, you could go... I guess you can go to Columbus. Like, that's really all that Ohio has. Like, there's really... Arkin? No. Toledo? Toledo's fine. The issue... The, okay, so the issue with... Um, Ohio and Indiana, which has Indianapolis, that's it, and Michigan, which has like two nice places, is that the state has some things that are fine. Like, 
but that's about it. Cedar Point. So Cedar Point is located in a city that's boring. You don't go to that city for, I forget what it's called, actually. I forget. But you don't go there for the the city. You go for the roller coasters. You don't go to you don't go to uh, Cleveland for the the city. You go for like the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame, right? Sandusky? Yeah, Sandusky. So um, what I'm saying is like, oh, the Midwest is mid for a reason. I think the best part of the Midwest, like, if, okay, if we're talking about like immediate Midwest, Ohio, Michigan, Indiana, uh, Kentucky, uh, uh, Pennsylvania, uh, that area. I think that the best part would have to be Indianapolis. And the only reason I say that Indy is fine is because objectively it's the bigger of the cities mentioned and it has more things to do by, by area. But that's really about it. Nothing else in Indiana is good. Nothing else in Ohio is good. Like you can go to Cincy and have some fun things to do. You can go to Columbus and have something to do. Um, but that's really about it, right? Like if you go, okay. Another a good way to like spin this is if you go to like I know Texas Texas is huge. But let's go to Florida. Florida is decent size, right? But there are different parts of Florida that are good for different reasons, despite the fact that Florida is absolutely insane and full of batshit crazy people. That's that's inside the point. So you go to Florida for like, I'm going to go to the uh, uh, Key West for this. I'm going to go to um, Orlando for this. There's like cool things to do that aren't just like the city. It's, there's more of the city than just like one thing, right? But a lot of the Midwest just is kind of boring. Missouri and the meth uh-huh. capital of the world is at mid. I thought, is Missouri the meth capital of the world? Good for them. Good for them. Well, he had an incredible idea. What's up? Balloons. Love it. It was perfect. Love it. All they'd have to do is round up a few students to pump sure. them up, sell a few kids some sponsorships, sure. and then just let them off into the sky. Perfect. I, for, for what? I thought it would be in Mexico. It's free Mexico. Free Mexico. It couldn't be simpler. They just had to come up with the right amount of them. I don't understand. They eventually agree on a nice round number. Two million. Whoa. Really? That is an astronomical amount of balloons. Why? The amount of pollution in your streets alone. You're going to flood your river. There's a river that goes through Cleveland. You, you, we just talked about it. You're going to... Okay, whatever. With that many balloons, it would be a world record. Sure even would. beating Disneyland, who'd launched a million balloons a year before. Didn't... Oh, is the 80s? You know what? Sorry, I didn't play. Sorry, good point. Sorry, sorry. You're massive. right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Sorry, 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 they sorry. They asked the city council for permission. You're right. Two million balloons. Of course. The local airport. Fine with us. What, really? The police, go right ahead. What? And with that, they begin planning. Oh, is that all it takes? Trust an old man that wouldn't sell his house away to Brazil, I heard? Oh my god, that's wild. Saturday the 27th okay. of September, 1986. The day of Balloon Fest. Wait, is that real? Hundreds of thousands of balloons are netted Holy in a three-story sh- scaffold, standing at the center of Cleveland's public square. Listen. Okay. Listen. On paper, this is kind of badass. I know why this sucks, but it's kind of cool. But you know what? Like, there's, I feel like the Lantern Festival of Japan does is just better, objectively speaking. But this is kind of fun. Shiner Shay, one of Raiders. Hello. Oh, what the hell? Weird. Roman Raiders, Mars Public Line Dead. Hello, 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 hello. We are learning about Balloon Fest tw- uh, 1986. So I hope you had a great stream. Welcome in. Buckle up. We are learning about some stuff. But welcome in. Hi, everybody. Hi. In it, 2,500 students and other volunteers, hard at work, okay. pumping even more. Sure. Things are looking good. Sure. Public turnout is massive. Right. With thousands of people watching from the square. And even very, very cool. And more from afar. Sure. And United Way has raised over half a million dollars through balloon sponsorships. That's awesome. But go on. Things are going swimmingly. Love it. However, there is a slight problem. There's a rainstorm and it's <laughs> headed straight for them. <laughs> yep. The managers of United Way are informed immediately. Yep. Hmm. A rainstorm hitting the balloons don't, has the potential don't. to be absolutely disastrous. Don't do this. I know it's the hiss, it's the past. I already know this is a, this is already set in stone. 
but this might be this is somebody's like oh like god dang spider verse canon event dude this is gonna be this is a canon event for cleveland ohio <laughs> but most yeah terror for real really pumped true and so an executive decision is made gentlemen Go we're going to have to stop pumping and pack up oh we're launching earlier than expected oh <laughs> oh no oh no all right yeah here we go and there at 1 50 p.m 1.4 million balloons are released. Holy nightmarish. And I, everything was fine. On, have you ever heard of Raid Shadow Legends? I hate you, big boss. I know this video is like a year old, but I hate you so much. Go ahead. You got a gun pointed at me. Ethical reaction content. I don't know if your link works anymore. Go ahead. Tell us about Raid Shadow Legends. Ugh, this is the worst. I hate Raid as the most, dude. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Like fighting through hordes of enemies in sure epic do. battles. Sure do. Raid has tons of them. Whoa! Enjoy collecting suspiciously underdressed characters. Raid's a good game. I take it back. Raid's a good game. I take it back. No. Raid's a pretty good game. Nah. That's fair. Carry on! Raid has hundreds of them. Oh, wait, what? what What about finding and earning <laughs> upgrades to improve your characters until they're borderline oh. unstoppable? <laughs> God, Raid stop! It's got thousands of them. Whoa! But that's not all. What else? How about a gripping and exquisitely written campaign? Mm, I don't know about that one, Chief. Ruthless dungeons and epic boss fights. I don't know about... Okay. And tons of loot. Whoa! What's that? What? You don't like playing as Big Purple Nipple Man? I never said... Hey, I never said that. Well... Just open that shard pack you just unlocked and play as someone else. Oh, right. And if you're bored with all that, I sure then am. you can jump into the arena and flex your fresh new gear on every nerd that crosses your path. Ah! Also, Raid just released a massive update. That's a year tweaking ago. Tweaking 20 champions Whoa! and allowing you to build your own upgrades in the new forge. Sick! Raid has it all. Mm. And it's free to play on Android, iOS, and PC. Sick! Whoa! And is that a free welcome pack with Hell one yeah. time boss key, one energy refill, a one day XP boost, Whoa. five mystery shards, All right. 50 gems. Alright, breathe. Please. 50,000 silver Whoa. and a free character. Okay, god. Alright, I'll play it. Fine. The game looks mildly amusing. I... I don't think that... Uh, is Raid even still... Is people who play Raid in 2024? No way. To get it, just sign up to Raid through the link in the description Whoa. below within the next 30 days. You got it, big boss! Man, he had 205k back then. That's crazy. Time, time, I'm glad he I'm glad he bumped up. That's great. Oh, here we go. So so far, yep. things are going great. Awesome. People are out in droves. Everyone's having a good I time. I love the balloon! Even just set a monumental world record. That's fantastic. For a brief moment, it looked like they'd pulled it off. And then, and then something started happening. There it is. <laughs> See, All the right. idea was that the balloons would float up into the atmosphere, scatter. And then either burst or deflate before falling back down to earth. Dude, I people say that people in the modern era, like we live now, are stupid. Like, oh, we're so stupider. We're so much stupider in 2024. That might be true, but the people in the 80s were also very stupid. I think the stupidity has never really stopped. That's not what happened. <laughs> of course not! It turned out that the rain showed up a little early. Uh -huh. And as soon as the balloons drifted into the clouds, they were met with a front of cold air and a shower of rain. Yep. And they came straight back down again. This is the part I knew would happen. The lead, lead paint ruined a generation, dude. The result? 1,429,643 oh. balloons come floating back down to Earth, flooding the streets of Northeast Ohio and clogging Lake Erie. Wow. I'm shocked. How could that? What? Who could have predicted this? What? No. Cleveland, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> Things go downhill from there. Oh, do they? It's not long before car crashes begin to pepper the city as <laughs> yep. drivers swerve in and out of the hellfire. Yep, above. here we go. And it turns out that tens of thousands of balloons in and around the local airport prove a bit challenging for incoming and outcoming traffic. That's actually terrifying. I'll be real with you guys. Yeah, time boy. Yeah, time boy's great. That's actually terrifying. I do not know how the airport signed off on this. All cars at the table do not know do not know how the airport signed off this at all. That don't make no goddamn sense whatsoever. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That don't make no sense. Do not like it. Do not care for it. And after balloons completely coat the runway, they have to outright shut it down. Yep. 
Specially protected nature reserves a few miles up the lake oh, in done. Canada are also done. here. Done. Clogging their beautiful lakes and untouched beaches with tens of thousands of vibrant, multicolored rubber balloons. Such a stupid idea. I literally, again, I don't know how they, sure. Stupid, but sure. Some horses were also injured. What? It was total chaos. Wait, what? It doesn't end there, though. How, where, you're it turned okay. out that United Way had failed to check with the Coast Guard for any... Aha! The active emergencies yep. on Lake Erie. As it turns out, there was. Okay. A day before launch, Eleven. two fishermen had gone out into the lake. They never came back. Oh, no. Oh. <gasps> oh, my God. You're next to a body of water. You legally have to contact the Coast Guard. Oh. <gasps> Oh no, the searches are impossible now. Oh my god. Hi Mar oh my god, spaghetti. That does make things better. Mar but my spaghetti. Hi Mari. That's spaghetti for me. It's rotini. Rotini for me. And there's two dogs that are following it for some reason. Why is that? That's so odd. Why would two dogs follow you with food and one stay behind? Really? There he goes. <laughs> there he goes. He figured it out. <laughs> Lou just staring at me and he's staring at Mari, staring at me, staring at Mari. He's like, where, where, where do I go? The food's here, but Mari's leaving. Mom's leaving. The food's here. Hold on. Put my food up real quick. I'm going to eat that after a stream. Yay. Mari made, me, made me, Mari, Mari made me some food. All right. Sorry. It was now the day of the launch and they still hadn't come back. Right. So the Coast Guard is sent in. Dude, this sucks. This actually is a body cap. This sucks. But then come the balloons. Yep. It's impossible. Needless to say, this complicated matters considerably. That sucks, dude. They straight up killed them. Yes. I do believe it. I believe this affair. You have to, if you're next to a body of water, you have to shut the Coast Guard. That's always been the thing. But a few hours into the search, <gasps> Please. the men's boats are spotted, anchored near a break ball in the lake. Okay. The men had to be near. So the Coast Guard then send in a search and rescue helicopter. But how do you see? However, yeah. it ran into some issues. What part? It turns out that it had severe difficulty reaching the area of the boat. Wait, why? Due to the asteroid field of balloons in the way. Dude, I, this is the part where I'm like, just sheer stupidity has killed two people. And I'm, a part of me ho is hopeful that they're like, oh no, they saved at the end. <sighs> Infuriating. Yeah, back, boys. Infuriating. So back out come the boats. Yep. They roam around the lake for hours in search of the two men. No but avail. the tens of thousands of balloons in the water make yep. it impossible to see anything. Furating. In the end, the search just had to be cancelled. Yeah, I, I I don't blame the Coast Guard here. I do that. Yes, I would. I know that. Uh, I don't blame the Coast Guard at all. It's not their fault. They tried. But what the f are you going to do? What are you going to do? You know? What are you, what are you supposed to Tragically, do? Tragically, the bodies were found washed up on shore two yeah. days later. Yeah, well, imagine if imagine if they were allowed, you know to find them right like well i must be, uh, oh god if i it, dude if i knew that's how i died it's because some dick bags released a bunch of balloons oh i've been so pissed i'm a ghost yeah for real Lost war not for real thousands of dollars of damages yep hordes of car crashes yep and two fatalities yep the brunt of balloon fest had finally passed and in the following days massive efforts to clear the balloons from the city go underway what a joke cleveland come on gang but the balloons were relentless Still appearing even weeks after the event. Yeah! Though mostly on the Canadian side. All right, that's fine then. No, I'm fact, kidding, it's messed the up. The majority of the balloons actually ended up in Canada, oh. despite the country having nothing to do with the launch. Canada should, have, Canada should have declared war at that point. I wouldn't even blame them. Yeah, that's fair. Carry on. I accept this fate. A man has spawned into the river in Lego City. <laughs> True. Naturally, they were not very pleased. No! So things didn't pan out too well. Look at my they did! But hey, at least United Way raised half a million dollars for charity. Yay! Right? No. Well, no. Right. Not really. While they had- They had to pay for damages and- Oh yeah, they raised around $500,000 yep. through selling balloon sponsorships. That money would turn out to be nowhere near enough for the barrage of lawsuits that came their way. Oh. Sorry, my hurry up. And also, yeah, of course not. I mean, if if I if I crash my car, I'm suing I'm suing them, Bruh. Yeah, first for up real. was one of the fishermen's wives. Yep. She sues United Way for three million. Fair. Million dollars. Fair. The owner of the injured horses also steps in. 
I don't, I want to know more about that. She sues for a hundred thousand. Fair, fair. Both lawsuits finish up with undisclosed settlements. A number of other lawsuits. Dude, again, I, I, I would absolutely sue the, I would do this exact same. I would sue, I would sue crazy. Yo, they have all, how you doing? How you doing? Come here. Tens of thousands of dollars for damages also yep. follow suit. Yep. In the end, the costs of the settlements actually outrun the event's profits and fundraising efforts. Hey, you guys think this guy sold a job? Probably not, right? <laughs> Losing the United Way of Cleveland more money than they had even oh, raised. Oh, true, Holly, true. Making Balloon Fest a complete failure on all fronts. Mm. It would later be revealed that the managers of Balloon Fest actually knew about the incoming rainstorm the day before the event, but thought nothing of it. <sighs> what? No. Impa- Impossible. <laughs> Meaning that the entire debacle could have been avoided entirely. What? No. What? Who would have guessed? Thank you, Big Boss, uh, for yet another fantastic video. Um, uh, yeah, you know what? There's another reason I hate Cleveland. I'm very biased, but I hate Cleveland.